him. No, no, my God. Let me at him. 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 What's up, my peoples? Mgo here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Transformers Studio Series Voyager Class, Sentinel Prime. So here we are, and there he is. And first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. So at the front here, we have Sentinel Prime looking all sentinel-y and primey from Transformers Dark of the Moon. His name is Sentinel Prime Transformers. On the side of the box, we have... Sentinel Prime on the other side of the box we have a nice close-up of Sentinel Prime. He is a Voyager class, a class of Voyager, a, a, a deep Voyager, a class of Yahero, and a class a Voyager. Up top, Transformers Dark of the Moon. On the bottom, words, things, barcodes. On the back of the box, you have your obligatory product shot, and you have a very brief bio if you want to read it, and that's basically it for the packaging. And moving right along, here we have Sentinel Prime as he appeared in Transformers Dark of the Moon. And before anybody starts typing, yes, I've seen the DNA kits for him and Bumblebee and Blackout. Yes, I have it on pre-order. So yes, we will take a look at it whenever it comes out. Don't worry about that. But let's take a look at Sentinel Prime himself. And here he is in his fire truck mode. And um, the one thing that I don't like about this figure, my biggest criticism of this figure is just the coloration this needed some more color this really needed some more color the only real paint on it is some red some white a little bit of silver and a little bit of black other than that it's all just this dark brown color and it's just yeah, it's not working for me not really working for me definitely needed some better coloration but oh well it is what it is i mean if you're a customizer you could probably hook this thing up and make it look amazing but as is eh, just uh, not not crazy about the coloration on this figure but Moving along, let's get in close here so we can take a look at some of the details. You can see you have some nice tinted transparent plastic there for the windshield and the windows here on the side. You get some things and stuff, some stuff and things. Get the little side view mirrors here done in black. You can see there's some nice molded detail. Just not picked down with paint, unfortunately. And moving down the side. Yeah, get some red going down the side, a little bit of white, the 316, yes, I know, 316. Um, in the back, see all the wheels there. You got some ladders and whatnot. Up top, you have some more accoutrement going on. Again, none of it painted. You got all this wonderful detail going on here. And again, none of it is picked out in paint whatsoever. But there is the top, there is the bottom. He does roll as rolling things should. Hooray for rolling. And for comparison, here he is with Studio Series Prime. Here he is with Megs. I don't have the original Voyager Sentinel, but I do have the, uh, the old leader class version here. So you can see how that works out. And you see the coloration on the leader class version? See, I just like this one so much better. I mean, accurate or not, it just looks better to me because there's, you know, actual black, you know, there's some things picked out in paint. You got the grays going on. See, it just, just looks a lot better to me. Again, just my personal opinion, but there you go. Now, as far as uh, articulation goes, uh, this suction here is on a hinge. You kind of raise that up, kind of do what you want there. It doesn't rotate, but it just moves up and down if you wanted to, or if you just wanted to sit flush, you can see this little post and port there. You just push that down, and I'll just sit flat against the roof of the truck there. But uh, yeah, that is pretty much it for the vehicle mode. So let's get down to transformation, shall we? It's <laughs> so. Let us begin. So, first thing you want to do is you want to take this section here and just fold it up. I'll just tab in right there. Take these side view mirrors and just push those down like so. And now we can split the back, which will help you get all of this undone. So you want to take this whole assembly here, kind of grab hold, kind of start wiggling things around and undo all that. Bring that side down and come here 
and undo this side. Untap that, bring all that down. And another thing we want to do before we do anything else is take these sections here, pop those off, pop those off, put those off to the side. And now his little crotch suction is tabbed up in here, so you just want to kind of pull that out and just bring that down. And now we will work on his legs. So what you want to do here is you want to just kind of grab hold of his foot and pull this whole section up like that. This will rotate around and then you can just bring up his toes, bring this down. That'll tab in right there like so. And then we come to the back. This panel here will just tab into the back of his leg. This section will come up and this section will rotate forward. And this will tab in right here into the side of his leg like so. And we have a leg all done. Second fast is just like the first. So just untab that, bring it up, rotate, flip up his toesies, tab that back in. Tab that panel in, bring that up, bring this over, tab it in, and there you have his legs all done. So at this point now, you want to grab hold of his hands, they're pegged in here, so just unpeg them, and just untab them from each other, like so, and then you just want to kind of tug them down to untab them, and bring them out to the side, just pull it down, bring it out to the side, and then you can bring this section down, which will allow you to get this panel untabbed because otherwise it is not easy to get that untabbed. So go under there, untab all of this. Once you do that, you want to rotate this whole assembly 180 like so. And let me raise up a little bit more. There we go. So once we've done that, we can take the whole crotchial region here and just bring that back and up like so. We can take this section here, take this panel, bring it up, and this will tab in right up in here. So just tab that in, and we'll leave that there for now, and we will continue to work on the upper body. So, you want to take his head and bring it up, and this whole assembly here is kind of on a rocker, so you just want to just rock that downward like so, and that will enable these sections here to tab in like that. And then we take these sections here, tab right there, slots. And let's bring that forward, tab it in, take the chest piece, tab that in, then we can bring his arm down, unpeg his uh, shoulder pad here, and bring that up. There you have a side all done. Second pass is just like the first. Bring that forward, tab, down, up. Then we have his arms all done. And then we come back here, we just split this, down the middle like so, and this section here, you see the little tab, well, tab in right there to secure all of that in place. Make sure everything is nice and squozen. And there we go, there we have Sentinel Prime in his robot mode. Oh, and one more little thing, one more little thing you have to do is these little, uh, these little bits right here on his hips do come out. There you go. Now, unfortunately on mine, for some reason, like his waist just doesn't want to stay put. Like it just wants to, he has a problematic crotch and I can never get it to stay in. I don't know if I'm just doing something wrong. I may be, wouldn't be the first time, won't be the last. I don't know, but his crotch doesn't want to stay in place too well. But other than that, he still looks pretty dang good in his robot mode. Still not a fan of the dark brown, but you know what? He looks a lot better in robot mode than he does in his vehicle mode, and I will give him that. I think he looks quite, quite good. So let's get in close here so we can take a look, not at his stomach, but at that noggin. There's the noggin. You can see really nicely done face sculpt there. Nice and accurate to the movie. Nice bright blue there for the eyes. Get some silver there on the face. And that red also. So, very nicely done head sculpt. Just, you can see, done that red. You got a little bit of silver going on in there. 
Well, that's a nice detail. Again, yeah, would have been nice if it was, you know, picked out in some other colors other than this dark brown, but, you know, it is what it is. Although, you do get some pretty nice details going on. It does look pretty good. Those big old feet. And over the back, you can say it's a little sentinel, like wings or cape or whatever that's supposed to be going on there. A little bit of a backpack, but not too bad. Now, articulation-wise, uh, the head is on a ball joint, I believe. You get a little bit of wiggly-waggly, but not too much. Just through the shape of his head, you can look up a little bit. Can't really look down. Head can rotate only but so much before his old, you know, chin whiskers kind of get in the way. But you can get his head turned a little bit. Arms can do a full 360. They can move in and out. You have rotation right above the elbow. You have a bit over 90 degrees of bend at the elbow. You do have wrist rotation. Uh, you don't have anything at the waist. Um, if you untab all of this, then you can get a little bit more waist movement, but not too much. So you got that going on. Uh, legs can move forward that far. You can do the big boots. Back only that far before the butt flaps get in the way. Outward, he can do the full splits. You got rotation right above the knee. 90 degrees of bend out of the knee. And the feet, um, they can't really move up. They can move down due to transformation. And that is basically it. Now, as far as weaponry goes, uh, we have these two panels here. And what you do is you flip out these little sections here. You connect them together. And there you have his big old double-bladed sword here, which again, nice detail, but, uh, you know, again, just done in that dark brown, which just looks kind of meh. But hey, the DNA kit is going to give us a new sword, as well as a shield and his, uh, his rust gun. So, hey, DNA's got us covered, but he just split in half and just feed the one half into his hand. It's quite snug. And get the other one in there. And just get it all pegged together like so. And there he is, with his double-bladed sword of murder, justice, traitorism. So, there you have that. And now for Comparus Hunt. Here he is with Studio Series Optimus Prime. Here he is with Dark of the Moon Megs. And here he is with the original leader class. Well, he can tell you who he is. And yeah, you are. And of course, the last thing to talk about is the included base of displayage, which is in the box. Woo! And you open it up and there you have the streets of Chicago torn asunder. And we have the Transformers Dark of the Moon logo, Studio Series 61, Transformers, oh, it's all that good stuff. And we can take Sentinel and just plop them down right there. And as always, it's a nice display option if you want to take advantage of it. So, there you go. So there you have Sentinel Prime, and uh, molding-wise, this figure looks fantastic, just so screen accurate, looks really good. My biggest complaint about the figure, though, is all the dark brown plastic. It does not do him any favors whatsoever, so that's my biggest gripe with this figure, is just the coloration. You know, that's where I feel, uh, this is the one aspect of the figure that I feel needed the most improvement, but although though, it is a solid figure, you know, like the crotch section on mine doesn't like to stay in too well. I don't know if I'm just doing something wrong or it's just my copy. I'm not sure about that, but other than that, it's a really well done figure in my opinion, all things aside. So there you go. Now, if you would like this or any other Studio Series toys, you can always check out BigBadToyStore.com for availability. There'll be a link in the description down below so you can check that out. You can also check out my Studio Series playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description down below so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it. So don't forget to check out M Games, check out Love Peace Paranormal, follow me on Twitter, all of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So there is the Transformers Studio Series Voyager Class Sentinel Prime. And this is M Go saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. Be geek. Be proud. 
home in your face. Uh, I can't believe I've been gone for so long, and I can't believe you single-handedly stopped the war. Yes, yes, I did it all by myself, just, just me, with no one's help. That's amazing. You are a truly great leader. Yes, yes I am. He is so lying to you. Hey, don't make me bury an axe in your face. I'll do it. He's a liar. He's a Decepticon. He lies. You know, that's what they do. They lie. But not us. No, Autobots don't lie. I mean, you, you would never lie to me, would you, Sentinel? Right? I mean, right? <laughs>